Hi. Okay. Before our interview even started, something about fashion designer Tanya Taylor caught my eye. I can't stop staring at your earrings that don't match purposely. Oh. And I think that probably epitomizes who you are. I've always kind of had a little bit of a playfulness in how I like to put things together. After studying finance at McGill University in Canada, Tanya moved to New York City, enrolling in Parsons School of Design. It made me see fashion as a really open-minded, kind of approachable kind of career that I could mix what I had learned in business school, but also be really creative. So I applied for an internship with Mary Kate and Ashley Olson when they started Elizabeth and James. They were my age. They were my idols growing up. I got the internship, ended up working with them for three years. What was the best nugget or piece of advice that you got during your time with the Olsen? It was 2009 to 2012. So during that time, fashion was male dominated. It was expensive or inexpensive. There wasn't this contemporary kind of price point. And I think what I learned the most is understand the customer, understand their lifestyle, like fall in love with them and just evolve designing for them. During Tanya's time at Elizabeth and James, she started to feel the urge to go off on her own. It was a lot of naivety and a lot of confidence at that time. Like, I wanted to paint our prints. I wanted to bring art into the brand. It's interesting to me because you use two adjectives that usually don't go together, naive and confident. And I think the best example of being naive and confident is entrepreneurs. You don't know exactly what you're going to do, but you need to have a ton of confidence to be able to overcome all the roadblocks that you have every time you have them. So at the age of 24, she hired a consultant, raised a friends and family round of capital, and with one employee, launched her namesake brand, Tanya Taylor. Early days were bananas. I don't think there was like work hours. I remember setting up fittings at 11 p.m. and thinking it was early. Two years in, we were applying for the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund, which is a really prestigious competition in fashion. Anna Wintour, DVF, Jenna Lyons were all judges. And so you have to put together a plan of why you should be one of the top 10 brands in the US. And it's really hard to articulate that when you're at the beginning stages. So I was having trouble and all of a sudden go on Instagram and Michelle Obama had worn our dress that day. And it was one of those moments where you're like, ooh, I needed that. And we actually made it into the Vogue Fashion Fund, which was a big stepping stone for our brand. Today, Tanya Taylor Clothing is available in over 100 retail stores across the country, including Saks, Nordstrom, and Rent the Runway. The brand is known for its vibrant and colorful prints, most of which she and her team paint by hand. It's also size inclusive, carrying sizes zero to 22. A lot of people think like, oh, fashion is trivial, but it really does set the tone, not only how you feel about yourself, but decisions you make throughout the day. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And so I wanted women who have been excluded from the fashion conversation for years, they should be in it. They love fashion. They're so playful. They're so confident to have clothing that matches their personalities. What would be your best advice for people who are starting in this industry and young girls who are looking at you and saying, I want to do that too? I think understand the why. The industry requires some blinders and really kind of putting them on and feeling really confident with your own values and your own methods of how you want to design so that you don't get lost in the mix. <laughs> It's really good. Tanya yeah. has other found, or has also found other ways to bring color into our lives, as she calls it. Her team partnered with Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital to design custom curtains in their pediatric That's wing. Awesome. What a great idea! And they donate headscarves mm. to women and children on their first day of chemotherapy. Clothes can really uplift your mood, and I love the colors it's and the true. bright prints and it's things true. that she uses. Yeah. So we asked them to design some of them in our in our studio. They're beautiful. Look at some of these. Yeah. I, let me turn this one around, okay? Because the back, I love on this. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. That is fabulous. Look at that. that pretty. How cool is that bow? I love that. I love that. These series that we do, they're such, they're great. Because it's literally, yeah. like every one of us, you just have an idea and they just go for it. I it's love great. it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.